hello everyone welcome to my channel uh, today we are going to be building a DIY dew heater uh, for astronomy and astrophotography um, I wanted to do this for a while uh, because I was looking for a cheap uh, inexpensive option for a dew heater because the ones that are available on the internet are quite expensive especially the ones uh, with uh, you know a regulator um, so uh, I tried to find uh, instructions online uh, and couldn't quite find what I was looking for so I decided uh, I will document my process uh, with a video um, um, and hopefully it'll help somebody out there who's trying to uh, build their own uh, inexpensive dew heater so here are all the components uh, uh, that we need uh, hopefully i captured all of them if not you know as we go along in the video we should be able to figure it out um, so we need uh, a, a wire uh, basically for uh, you know the connection uh, to your power supply i'm using a speaker wire uh, i had this uh, handy uh, from uh, another project that i was doing so i'll be using that uh, a heat shrink uh, uh, tube this is to uh, make sure that the heating element uh, which gets very hot uh, doesn't cause any burns or uh, damage um, velcro uh, the heating element this is a 34g uh, nichrome wire uh, the uh, resistivity of the wire depends on the length of uh, the dew shield uh, and which in turn depends on the diameter of uh, either your uh, telescope or a guide scope or your eyepiece um, uh, it requires a little bit of calculation to figure out what kind of uh, wire you need and I have put those calculations on my blog uh, so you can read them from there uh, but for my purposes uh, I have a four inch uh, refractor and uh, um, the, the circumference is about um, 13 centimeters and I need about uh, uh, 13 centimeters or about a foot of this wire uh, to get the resistivity uh, I need or the heat output that I need and the heat output uh, needed is about uh, 0.3 watts per centimeter so that's uh, again the calculations are in my blog uh, uh, for you to look at and then a dimmer uh, this is basically to control the heat uh, output uh, this is basically a potentiometer um, this is very inexpensive i got the, this uh, three of these for 10 bucks on amazon and then uh, you need these uh, rca jacks uh, if you uh, you know want the connection to be uh, not uh, uh, screwed in here but uh, easy to take off and remove um, so the, you know you get these uh, very cheap i think 10 or 20 for a couple of bucks and then uh, a 2.5 m jack for power uh, adapter um, so these are all the components that we need and uh, so let's uh, get started on building uh, the uh, dew heater so the first thing we need is uh, this wire uh, i uh, figured that uh, about six feet of this wire would be enough uh, for me to connect from the ota to the power supply uh, so i have uh, already uh, cut six feet of it and uh, will be uh, using this the second thing we need is uh, this nichrome wire and like i said for my purposes uh, for the diameter of my ota uh, i need about uh, 13 centimeters and I just uh, cut 13 centimeters of this wire as well <clears throat> and that 13 centimeters uh, which is close to about uh, more than a slightly more than a foot uh, gives me about uh, the the power output that I need um, so uh, I don't know if you can see this wire but that's that's what I got the next step uh, is fairly straightforward all we need uh, to do is um, make this into a loop with this wire um, and uh, so all that means you solder uh, one end here um, and cut about 13 centimeters and solder it here uh, and wrap that in my shrink wrap uh, ra wrap this uh, heating element or the nichrome wire uh, in the shrink, uh, shrink wrap and that's uh, pretty much it uh, from a uh, dew heater standpoint so let me uh, start doing this uh, and I can speed up the video while I'm doing this
okay so that's pretty much it um, your dew heater is kind of ready uh, it needs a little bit of uh, work in terms of aesthetics and getting all the connectors and everything uh, the reason I did not put the uh, electrical insulating tape on the solder joint but uh, over on the heat uh, shrink wrap is I wasn't sure what the heat rating of this particular uh, electrical uh, tape is I think it is pretty high but I did not want to risk uh, the tape uh, burning and melting when the element gets heated up um, so once you have done this solder, the uh, next thing is to make sure the connection is nice and tight and there is no, uh, you tape it up well so that uh, the uh, wire doesn't get uh, pulled uh, and the solder doesn't break. Because that basically means you are, if, if that happens, uh, your dew heater won't work and you don't want that happening in the middle of an uh, astronomy or astrophotography session. So uh, once you have, uh, securely taped this up what you want to do next is make sure the connection is still tight actually you need to do that before uh, uh, taping it up but I have already taped it up so we'll, we'll check it anyway I'm, I'm fairly confident that the the solder was done properly uh, but let's see Uh, to do that, um, you just need a, a multimeter. Uh, I have all of these handy, like uh, because I'm a shoddy DIYer, if you know me. Uh, but oh, come on! All right, there you go. That basically tests the continuity, um, and since it's one whole big giant loop, you should hear the multi multimeter um, ringing which is what we see here so essentially the connection works um, so once that is established all we have to do is uh, pretty it up put the right connections and then uh, the next step is doing this so uh, let me um, try to pretty this up a little bit um, and uh, you know I will speed up the video while I do that <music> Um, looks like uh, I have a little bit of a wrinkle here but that's fine uh, so now uh, this is effectively your uh, dew heel Th this this part gets heated up um, as you can see it's not very um, flexible we can solve that by uh, applying heat to it uh, and this thing shrinks and becomes a little bit more flexible um, so why don't we do that <laughs> With uh, hair dryer, I was able to uh, heat this up, and now you can see it's much more uh, flexible. Um, and what we can do is uh, wrap this up in a cloth. I have uh, uh, created this cloth, um, stitched it up a little bit uh, from an old rag uh, that I'm going to use. Um, to make it aesthetically good you don't need it this works as is but uh, you know if you want it to look a little bit more uh, professional um, not that anybody cares about it uh, but uh, you can just put it in a cloth uh, like this uh, and uh, cut it to the dimensions of your diameter so that uh, it wraps around nicely thing you need is uh, this these velcro and you just uh, paste them here and here so that or the other side here and here so you can loop it around like that uh, so that's your dew heater the next step is the connections so on the one end i will be connecting this to that and then i'll show you how to work with this so let's let's get to working on this now
want to keep this always connected you can uh, connect the uh, the two leads of the uh, dew heater here and the uh, power supply wire comes from here uh, so you connect this to the 12 volts and you're done uh, what i'm showing right now is to again uh, make it a little bit uh, aesthetically uh, pleasing uh, so i'll probably drill a hole uh, somewhere around here uh, and uh, the two leads from here go to uh, this uh, 2.5 mm uh, power adapter jack where which uh, you can either uh, connect a cigarette lighter jack uh, or um, a power uh, adapter and then the other end i will uh, these two leads connect to this uh, which you can use this jack to connect with um, uh, you don't have to do, do this step um, uh, but if you want to make it look professional you can do that otherwise just use these uh, four uh, leads uh, to do it uh, okay, with that, I'll speed up the video now to, as I go through this process. I made a few design changes along the way I decided not to use this as I just soldered it directly to the uh, circuit board as you might have seen and I did some uh, lazy things I uh, used the solder to drill a hole here not ideal you should never do that uh, but I just got lazy and it was hot enough and this is plastic it would melt so I just did that so now there you have it this is your uh, dew heater it's it's all uh, ready and set to go um like i said all i have to do is uh stitch this up with, uh, place the velcro and uh, test it out so let's do that next Point of truths just connected this and let's give it a minute to see if it heats up and meanwhile I will attach this velcro all that remains is stitching this these two ends up and there you have it here's your uh, dew heater let me clean up my table a little bit and um, show you a clean view there's the dew heater uh, in all its glory 
um, it looks fine I mean it doesn't uh, look really fancy or professional but it does the job and it looks uh, okay to me uh, uh, and all of this is uh, less than 20 25 bucks so can't complain all right thanks uh, so much for watching and uh, i will uh, try and upload some more videos of uh, diy stuff or uh, around astrophotography uh, lessons that i have learned along the way so that it might uh, help anybody who's uh, uh, struggling uh, or is just getting started uh, with uh, astronomy and astrophotography again uh, thanks for watching my channel